Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Cookbook Channel. I'm Dave, and you're in my kitchen. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, welcome aboard. Uh, do me a solid. Right down below this video, you're going to see that subscribe. I want you to hit that subscribe button right now for me. And uh, later on, you can give me a thumbs up when you decide that you like the video. But for now, just subscribe. Deal? Deal. It's a few days after Thanksgiving, and... Um, we get tired of making plates and plates and plates of the same stuff. We cook a lot. We cook a lot to make sure that uh, everybody's satisfied. Everybody can walk away full, happy. Uh, we can take a plate. You know what I mean? It ends up being leftover city when we host Thanksgiving. And I, I don't mind because I live for the leftover. Seriously, if I don't have leftovers, Dave is not a happy camper. Even if we go out and have Thanksgiving dinner at someone else's house, at least it's got to be a turkey at home for the next day shenanigans. It's, uh, it's Tuesday now. So the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, you know, definitely had a few plates, but we've, we've got a lot. So what I'm going to do today is try to create something that I, I really like to do this around this time of year. It is, it's fall. Fall is in full swing. Winter is like right right around the corner um and this is a, this is a good dish for uh for comfort for home for warm you know what i mean that type of thing and it's also the greatest way to get rid of those uh leftovers especially that leftover turkey uh what we're getting into today is a turkey pot pie I've got leftovers galore. Leftovers galore. Um, I got a little stuffing. Um, there's some turkey here that was cut off the bone. And we've got the remnants of two turkeys. So some of y'all don't know this, but um I'm a smoking, uh, grilling master in my spare time. <laughs> uh, I like a smoked turkey. Uh, a few years ago, I started smoking a turkey um, for Thanksgiving, and the tradition has kind of stuck. So, um, and then being a traditionalist, I like an oven roasted turkey. So, instead of having this huge, like 26, 27 pound turkey as we might normally have, we've decided to kind of split the baby. So we have two smaller turkeys. One goes in the oven and then one goes on the smoker. So we've got the remnants of these two turkeys now and today is gonna be the final call. I'm, uh, I'm not even making turkey soup after today, this is it. Behind me, I got some stuff started. Um, the oven is preheated to 425 and uh, in a pan right here, I've just got some, um, some mixed vegetables, um, <coughs> defrosting, corn, uh, string beans, carrots, a little bit of spinach that I had left over, just a little chunk, and you know, that's pretty much it. We got some store-bought pie crust because I'm not sitting there kneading dough today. I got some, uh, some vegetable stock, it's a little in here, a little more in here, you know what I mean? So we're trying to get rid of all these leftovers and everything else is going into basura. We're just going to Break this down. My wow, thanks, Elijah. Elijah, Elijah took a lot of this out. Uh, my son went back to school today, and he said, "Take as much as you want." And he uh, he, he took as much as he wanted. No more turkey pot pie. Forget it. I'm only kidding. All right, so I'm gonna break down what's left of the meat on these turkeys. And we'll be back. Got myself a pretty good yield. We picked these turkeys dry and um, a 
nice mixture of, uh, of both dark meat and white meat. So we got a bowl, we got a bowl full of goodies. And um, I still like these. So I'm gonna have this for myself. Moving right along, our mixed vegetables are all defrosted. They're thawed out pretty nicely. I'm just gonna hit these with a tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of pepper just to, um, to make sure that this part is seasoned. We've got seasoned meat. Our turkey is seasoned real well. It's, it was brined, it was seasoned, it was cooked well. Um, so I'm not worried about flavor coming from there, but I just wanna put a little bit into these vegetables so that they have something on them. You know what I mean? If you've ever had a uh, chicken pot pie or turkey pot pie, you know you gotta have a nice gravy in there. That's the, that's the binder for the, for, the, for the pot pie. So we're gonna do a little roux. I got a couple tablespoons of butter. Bam. I'm gonna melt this over this medium high heat. I don't want the butter to burn. So take your time and, and gently melt this butter. Just sprinkle in some flour. A touch of salt, a touch of pepper doesn't hurt at this time. Just a little bit to get the thing, you know, rolling. And we're just gonna whisk. What you wanna do is constantly whisk. Um, you wanna cook that raw flour taste off. I'm just watching the heat so that it's not too hot. You don't want this to be aggressively uh, cooking the, uh, the flour and the butter because then it's gonna burn and scorch and it's not gonna get um, toasted and brown. So we're at a good medium point here. It's about, yeah, about caramel, a light caramel peanut butter complexion. So what we're gonna do now is just add some stock. And that's thick. So I finished this, a part of the leftovers, and another one. I'm not giving any exact measurements here because when you do this, you're gonna do it according to how much turkey you have, how big of a pie you're making, or if you're making more than one. Um, so it's really, you know, it's really up to how much you, how much you have left over and how much of this kind of gravy, you know what I mean, that you need. You wanna make sure you have enough to coat everything and, and and not lose that graviness, you know what I mean? So you're gonna let this come to a boil and um, that's gonna tighten it up and make it into more of a gravy. Let the flour and the butter mingle and let it reduce a little bit, you know what I mean? Let this rip for about maybe five minutes. You know, stir it constantly, um, adjust the seasoning if you need and you know, pay close attention. You don't want it bubbling up, bubbling over, and you, and you don't want it to scorch and burn. So just about five minutes at a nice boil. Let's build the filling. Our turkey in. We gotta get our veg in. And you could use any leftover vegetables that you might have. Throw some asparagus in there, the Brussels sprouts that are left over, string beans, whatever. I'm not telling you what I'm doing. Pouring in our gravy. I'm just gonna use my spatula to make sure that I'm not leaving any behind. And then you can just kind of fold this in. And this is the consistency that you want. A nice gravy. Okay guys, we're ready to build this pie. We got more leftovers. Stuffing. I'm gonna use this stuffing as a base for our pie pie. Why not? Let's crumble this in. And I'm just gonna press it down. i use this pan. Time for our filling. Yeah, let's just make it one big happy family real quick. Of course, get your spatula and make sure you get up all that good gravy. Okay, just coast to coast it. Flatten it out as much as possible, and you can plop it down a little bit and let it settle. All right, that looks good. We've got some store-bought pie crust because I'm not uh, fooling around with the dough today. Let me just move this to the side. 
case I gotta do some rolling or something. Okay, we got a round and we got a rectangle. Take out the old rolling pin and let's see if you can move with this. You can move this a little bit. So you're just pushing down and pushing out. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use like a wine bottle. And lay that down ever so gently, right over the top. Oh yeah, we got it to fit. A little knife work here. Just right at the edge. I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna make a couple of slits. Right down the center to release any um, steam that may come out, right? Our oven is preheated to 425, and all we're gonna be doing now is baking off this uh, this crust, and then everything else is gonna get warm along with it. So uh, the instructions said 10 to 12 minutes. So I would say 10 to 12 minutes. To get a more flaky and, and, and like kind of golden browny looking crust, it took a little bit longer than the uh, 10 to 12 minutes that the box set. Maybe because the crust is sitting on top of this like filling. So changed it a little bit. So it was closer to like 15, 20 minutes. Um, it's gonna happen. You know, things not don't go according to the box or to the plan all the time. So just adjust, just adapt. You know, you keep on checking, keep on checking to make sure you're not burning it. Um, but you know, to get a nice result, nice brown, nice golden brown all over, it had to stay a little bit longer than I thought. And that's no problem because here it is. No harm, no foul, right? I'm ready to dig in. All right, all right. So I'm just gonna use my hands a little bit. Voila. How's that? Time to dig in. Uh, let me, ooh. <laughs> you know what else I got left over? A little cranberry sauce. Regular degula. Jelly. Cranberry. Let's put some right there. And this is a very, uh, polarizing ingredient when it comes to uh, to the holidays. Um, you either fall on one or two sides with this jelly cranberry. Some people love it, and the rest of the people can kick rocks. <laughs> you know where I stand. All right, let's jump in here. It's, kinda, it's hot, and this little crust is flaky. Some of that stuffing from the bottom. Mmm. Hmm. Tiny bit of the cranberry because it got to go like the whole mouthful. <laughs> yeah. A great way to, uh, to wrap up the holiday. A great way to repurpose your leftovers after you're tired of slicing and slicing and slicing and, you know, remixing the same plate. Um, and a great way to reduce food waste because it, it'd be a shame to throw all of that away, really, really and truly. Um, and this is easy to make. Uh, if you make this dish, please shoot me a DM on, uh, on Instagram at the Cookland Channel. Shoot me an email at the Cookland Channel at gmail.com. Let me know how you like this recipe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like this show and you know somebody who's going to like this show, tell them about it. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thanks for watching the Cookland channel, and I'll see you next time.